Now let us see the next lesson. It is prose lesson 5. Making visible the invisible. This is the next lesson. Making visible the invisible. And before we go into the lesson, and what are the electronics equipments for doing household works do you have at home? Maybe washing machine, dishwasher, vacuum cleaner, mixer, grinder and so on. And who works with them? Who works these machines at home? Most probably our mummy or our servants. Before these machines came into your home, who do you think would have done the work these machines do? And who might have done this work before, uh, in, in, before uh, these machines came into your home? Which do you think is more difficult? Machine applied domestic work or manual domestic work? Manual work or machine work? which you consider is good. And before the arrival of these machines, it was done by manually, by mummy or by servants. That is what the, we are going to see in this lesson. Now I am reading the lesson now. Illegal and inhuman, a rescued child domestic worker. It is illegal. and inhuman a rescued child domestic worker domestic worker we call them servants servants at home domestic workers are called servants and most probably we use the children for this this kind of works they sweep they swab, sweep, swab, swab means mop, it is uh, mopping, the washing away, using the mop stick. They wash, they cook, wash, they cook and they take care of our, take care of our children, take care of our children. children and also our pets, they take care of our pets and they look after our elderly, look after our elderly. So we see them every day yet they are invisible, invisible mean, invisible means here they are not known to the outer world. So, they do all these kinds of works at home, sweep, swab, wash, cook, take care of our children, our pets, look after our elderly, all kind of works they do at home, but they are not known to the outer world. They do inside the four walls in our homes. Yes, millions of women, men and children, India's large force of domestic workers are servants as most people call them. We call them domestic workers or servants. And millions of women, men and children are doing this kind of work. Remain unseen, undervalued. It is undervalued. their value not recognized. That means we treat them equal to the machines. We don't give them importance and we don't consider their physical and mental worries and mental abilities undervalued and denied. 
that means refused we refused them refused refused the rights that all workers deserve and uh, we do, don't give them their rights we uh, we are always looking for them we are always consider that they do work 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 this is a subject to which we are forced to return every now and then sometimes it is a tragedy that forces us to think it is a tragedy sad happening it is a tragedy that forces us to think and that is what they are going to deal in this lesson sometimes a positive development in june 2006 june 2006 and they are june 2006 when 10 years old sonu was sadistically tortured sadistically that means sadistically getting pleasure out of hurting someone getting pleasure out of hurting someone sadist sadistically sadist it is arrived from the word sadist and tortured made to suffer torture made to suffer made to suffer that is what we have been doing and uh, to the children and uh, the sonu was killed by her employer in mumbai the invisible world of the domestic worker and especially of the child worker lay exposed in all its brutality it is a brutality it means cruelty that is what happening in the in this world and now there is a big controversy is going on that our uh, the uh, ambassador has tortured the servant and she has, she has she had given complaint to the american um, police with the new year the possibility of changing the conditions of work and life of such people comes in the form of maharashtra domestic workers welfare board bill maharashtra domestic workers it is maharashtra domestic workers welfare board maharashtra domestic workers welfare board bill that was passed by both the houses of the legislature during the recently concluded winter season that means in the last winter season a bill was passed in in favor of uh, this maharashtra domestic workers welfare welfare and uh, although the law has many shortcomings shortcomings that means uh, defects and though the bill was having some defects it is important because it recognizes the rights of these invisible workers again they are using the word invisible invisible means not known to the outer world and they do work within the four walls and uh, the two is not recognized properly that is what they are telling us and uh, we have some questions after this one why is the world of domestic workers invisible 
Why is the word world of domestic workers invisible? The sufferings of the domestic workers were not noticed by the society so the world of domestic workers is invisible this is the definition given for this why is the world of domestic workers invisible the sufferings of the domestic workers were not noticed by the society so the world of domestic workers is invisible and we have another question here next question how can the maharashtra bill help the workers how can the maharashtra bill help the workers the bill aims at changing the condition of work and life of the domestic workers they are it recognizes the rights of the invisible workers how can the maharashtra bill help the workers the bill aims at changing the conditions of work and life of the domestic workers it recognizes the rights of the invisible workers now beyond legislation that means beyond the law and order of course laws alone cannot deal with the problem that constantly plays hide and seek constantly constantly that means very often very often plays hide and seek of course laws cannot deal with the a problem that constantly plays hide and seek for decades groups like the national domestic workers movement have campaigned for recognition of domestic work as a form of labor campaigned carried out certain our series of organized activities to achieve something to achieve something campaign it is campaign means carried out certain or series of series of organized activities to achieve something and uh, it is done by national domestic workers national 
domestic workers movement and again you have it in your mind and you national domestic workers movement because we are going to write it again in the passage and as well as in the question paper so national domestic workers movement it is and uh, it is campaigning it is it campaigned for recognition of domestic work as a form of labor the diligence and the persistence the diligence diligence steady effort the taking steady efforts for the improvement of their uh, lives diligence and persistence and persistence it is continuous effort steady effort and continuous effort of such groups have resulted in some states initiating legislation initiating initiating starting are introducing starting legislation legislation means it is making of a making laws making laws legislation and again the diligence and the persistence of such groups have resulted in some states initiating legislation for instance both andhra pradesh and karnataka have included domestic workers in the legal provisions for minimum age legal provisions that means conditions provisions means conditions and uh, andhra pradesh karnataka have included domestic workers in the legal provisions for minimum wage that means they will be given minimum wage that has been made a law in these states and tamil nadu has included domestic work in the manual labor act manual labor act that is why these workers are have, are suffering manual labor act and in january 2007 set up the domestic workers welfare board domestic workers welfare board tamil nadu has set up a board for domestic workers welfare and uh, and how many of the domestic workers know this and they are, are they are they getting benefited no kerala has taken some steps in this direction and have bihar and rajasthan and all these states have also taken steps to for the improvement of the domestic workers the central government has included domestic workers in provisions under the unorganized sector workers social security act social security act social security act central government has set up the, this kind of act social security act for this sector sector means section sector section and that denotes the whole uh, workers domestic workers that was passed in january last year and now maharashtra has passed it own law and maharashtra also followed the central government most labor laws face the challenge of implementation challenge of implementation it is implementation that means carrying out carrying out these laws 
and they find it very difficult. The challenge of implementation, but uh, amongst the most difficult must surely be the ones linked to domestic work, linked, connected, linked, connected to domestic work. To begin with, uh, there are no clear statistics of the number of people worked uh, as paid laborers in people's homes. And, uh, and it is very difficult to gather the uh, number of workers working in, in homes because most of them may not be known to the outer world and most of them, most of the house owners, they don't reveal that they have a such kind of a child worker or the labor, domestic labor. According to the International Labor Organization, it is international labor organization it is ILO international labor organization a domestic worker is someone who carries out household work in a private household in return of wages again a domestic worker is someone who carries out household work in a private household in return for wages that means for wages the domestic workers are doing the domestic works for wages for their work the wages will be given the estimated number of domestic workers in india is 90 million but this is probably an underestimate as there has been no systematic study of documents systematic organized systematic and a document document is make records and we cannot estimate the domestic workers and underestimate as there has been no systematical study of document such workers throughout the country and next we have some questions which are the states in India have shown concern for the domestic workers which are the states in India have shown concern for the domestic workers Maharashtra Andhra Pradesh Karnataka Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Bihar and Rajasthan. All these states have shown concerned over these domestic workers. Which are the states in India have shown concerned for the domestic workers? Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Bihar and Rajasthan. The next question is, is it difficult to implement labor laws? for domestic workers. 
Is it difficult to implement labor laws for domestic workers? Yes. The answer is yes. It is difficult to implement labor laws for domestic workers is it difficult to implement labor laws for domestic workers yes it is difficult to implement labor laws for domestic workers from the data that exist it is clear that the overwhelming majority of domestic workers are women and girls from the data that uh, that they have already collected it is clear that overwhelming majority this overwhelming very great majority of the domestic workers are women and girls there has been considerable documentation of the abuse young girls in particular suffer at the hands of their employers there has been considerable considerable that means large large amount of documentation documentation means being recorded recorded in documents being recorded in documents documentation of the abuse abuse and it has got uh, two different meanings one is uh, treated badly here it means treated badly abuse young girls in particular suffer at the hands of their employers employers those who gave them work it means uh, the owner and uh, can very well say that is owners somu sonu was not an exceptional story exceptional unusual unusual story sonu was not an exceptional story it was just a reminder of uh, what goes on behind many closed doors it was just a reminder remembrance it is of what go, goes on behind many closed doors that means behind the walls within the four walls behind the doors behind the closed doors what is happening is not known to the outer world an estimated 20% of domestic workers are children below 14 years of age 20% of that particular uh, particulars they have taken in that out of only 20% are the 14 years under 14 years that means they are children under child labor laws child labor laws child labor laws these children should not be employed yet those who do employ them get around Uh, the law by claiming that they are looking after these children see get around get around get around means uh, escape from the law escape from the law they just escape by saying that they give they just take care of the children and they look after them usually with little or no pay sometimes they give no pay for the children uh, uh, only food they give food and shelter they give and uh, otherwise they give a little amount little wage for them such child workers slip between the cracks of labor laws cracks it is a cracks that means cracks narrow opening 
this also means that they are just escaping from the hands of law as most laws cover workers over the age of 18 and the domestic workers they come come in the from the age of 18 so and the children those who are working in the uh, in, inside the four walls uh, they don't come under this law the maharashtra law for instance uh, addresses domestic workers between the ages of 18 and 60 who are now eligible to register themselves at district welfare boards the maharashtra government has given a uh, provision that uh, these do these uh, domestic workers can register themselves with the government but what happens to those under 18? Under 18, below 18, the children below 18, what, what will happen to them? That is a big question. Laws are necessary, but those relating to domestic workers can only be effective if there is a change of attitude in the people who employ them. Laws are necessary. Of course, it is necessary and there are laws. But those relating to domestic workers can only be effective if there is a change in the attitude of the people who employ them and the, it, it depends upon the mentality of the owners. Do employers of domestic workers even know what the minimum wage is? Do they care? And the employers, they, even though they know what, what to give, how, how much money they should give, but they, they just don't give at all. They give less than that. Do they care? How will they be penalized if they refuse to pay? Can domestic workers ever be penalized? That means penalized. Penalized, punished. How can these owners be punished? Can domestic workers ever be? And uh, strong enough to refuse uh, to work in a labor surplus market like ours every day changes in the economy and the developmental policies are pushing more people into domestic work that means the economic economical condition of the poor just force them to work like this to survive to fill their stomach they go for such uh, domestic works with extended families being replaced by nuclear families extended families families and nuclear families and just a few years we can very well say it is in the um, just one decade ahead we had extended families that means all the brothers and sisters will be living in one family but now we have nuclear family that means all separate families with a father, a mother and their own children alone. So after we have come in the line of nuclear families, we, they, they feel very difficult to survive. They feel very difficult to get money out of uh, working. There is increasing demand for domestic workers. This ought to push up wages. This art to art to need to push up wages, but simultaneously the increasing number of infrastructure projects and industries are displacing millions of people, particularly from tribal areas. But simultaneously, at the same time, simultaneously. At the same time, at the same time, the increasing number of infrastructure projects, basic needs like building, transport, etc., the infrastructures and industries are displacing millions of people. Displacing means going out of their native, going displacing. going 
out of their native places. And they can't uh, get job properly where they are living. So they are going out of that and particularly from tribal areas. And these are the women especially who are now joining the growing force of domestic workers in our cities. And that is why the women in the nuclear family, they go for domestic works and they join the force of domestic workers in our cities. And we have some questions at the back. And the first one is, do the labor laws include all age groups of workers? Do the labor laws include all age groups of workers? The answer is no. Most labor laws include workers above the age of 18. Do the labor laws include all age groups of workers? No, most labor laws include workers above the age of 18. So they just don't care about the, about the workers, the, those who are below 18. Next question. How are children affected by these laws? How are children affected by these laws? The labor laws do not cover children under the age of 18. This affects the welfare of children where several jobs are available. See, how are children affected by these laws? The labor laws do not cover children under the age of 18. This affects the welfare of children where several jobs are available. There are a lot of jobs available in the city and they don't cover these children. Next question. What are the causes for the increase in domestic workers. What are the causes for the increase in domestic workers? The changes, the day-to-day -day changes in economy and development developmental policies are pushing more people into the 
domestic work and the increase of nuclear families increases the demand for domestic workers what are the causes for the increase of domestic workers the changes in economy and the developmental policies are pushing more people into the domestic work the increase of nuclear families increases the demand for domestic workers and we have the next question besides laws what could help domestic workers have a better life besides laws what could help domestic workers have a better life the employers should have a change of attitude towards domestic workers towards domestic workers they should come forward they should come forward to pay minimum wages minimum wages this will help the domestic workers this will help domestic workers have a better life besides laws what could help domestic workers have a better life the employers should have a change of attitude towards domestic workers they should come forward to pay minimum wages this will help domestic workers have a better life slavery would be considered a harsh term by most indians who employ domestic workers but the reality is that even today in many homes the domes domestics especially those who work full time are often no better than slaves that means the people those who are working as domestic workers they are treated as slaves they are usually in debt to their employers that means they are, so some people have borrowed some money from the owners for that they are asked to work in their homes and work their whole lives to pay off the debt debts generations work to pay off the debt and this this is called bonded labor and they, they instead of getting uh, the money the principal and uh, the interest they are asked to work at home and uh, the generations they are the next uh, predecessors they will also be working to pay off their debt and it never really over gets paid off they are on call 24 hours of the day the 365 days in a year that means the whole year the 20, all the 24 hours they will be working uh, and they can never ever dream of freeing themselves from such bondage bondage means slavery bondage 
slavery. They will be working all through the year, all the 24 hours and they, they will never dream, they will never come out of this bondage. How can laws intervene in such situations? Intervene, that means involve. If it is known to the outer world, the law can do something for these people and the sufferings of these people they never come out of the come out to the public. That is why they have been doing their work for the whole year. Ultimately, that means in the end, things can and will change only if those who employ domestics accept that these workers are first of all workers and not servants. They are they should be treated as workers, not the servants by the owner that they are individuals, 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 that means a single person, single person, individual with rights like any other person, that they are individuals with rights like any other person, like the public, like the other persons who are living in this world. They have also their rights to climb and that they should be paid a fair wage that they, they deserve time off. That means they have to give, the, the owner should give them the correct wages and that, that is enough for their survival and they, they, have to, they have to be given the time off. That means rest should be given for them as in the other jobs. They, that they too have families to care for and they have got their own families that they should not lose wages when they fall sick. Even when they fall sick, they, will, they are refused the wages. It should not be there. That is what the, this lesson is telling you. That they are valued human beings without whom our lives would be impossible. And in most of the houses, we have domestic workers and without them, we will be able to, we will not be able to work out, we will not be able to be free in our life. So the owners should think that they have to give their servants, not the servants, their workers free time and the correct wages for them to survive. That is what the lesson is telling. Such a change of attitude cannot be legislated. That means it cannot be made a law. legislated, made into law and these laws cannot be forced and the minds of the owners should be changed and we have some questions at the back. The one is, how are some, some domestic, how are some domestic workers live sorry lives similar to this to those of slaves how are some domestic workers' lives similar to those of uh, slaves? In many homes, domestic workers work full time. They are on call 24 hours of the day.
they walk all through the year to pay off their debts. Thus, their lives are similar to those of slaves. In many homes, domestic workers work full time. They are on call 24 hours of the day. They work all through the year to pay off their debts. Thus, their lives are similar to those of slaves. How should employers with a change in attitude treat they are domestic workers how should employers with a change in attitude treat their domestic workers employers should accept should accept the workers as workers not as servants not as servants they should accept them they should accept them as valued human beings human beings with all rights with all rights they should be paid a fair wage and time off and time off they should they should not lose their wages when they fall sick how should employers with a change in attitude treat their domestic worker employers should accept the workers as workers not as servants they should accept them as valued human beings with all rights they should be paid a fair wage and a time off they should not lose their wages when they fall sick now the next item is an exercise given at the back of the lesson it is it comes under vocabulary match the following match the following act will law legislation legislation and in the other side 
a return suggestion for a new law. to be presented in the parliament in the parliament so that members can discuss it members can discuss it laws are or sets of laws processed and passed by the parliament parliament a bill passed by the parliament the whole set of rules that everyone in the country must obey must obey and let us see this options again a written suggestion for a new law to be presented in the parliament so that members can discuss it laws are sets of laws processed and passed by the parliament a bill passed by the parliament the whole set of rules that everyone in the country must obey now let us match this a written suggestion for a new law to be presented in the parliament so that members can discuss it and it is the bill a bill they pass the bill in the parliament to make a to introduce a new law laws are sets of laws processed and passed by the parliament that means already passed that means that is called act an act after passing the bill it comes into force so it is called act a bill passed by the parliament and it is the legislation a bill passed by the parliament legislation that means that comes into force the whole set of rules that everyone in the country must obey is a law everyone in the country should obey the laws of it, its own country now the next item is uh, fill in the blanks with the appropriate word from the four words given above and there is a passage given with uh, dashes we have to fill them up with the things we have seen in the in the previous page act bill law and legislation right to education act rte the right of children to free and compulsory education act which was passed by the indian parliament on 4th august 2009 describes the modalities of the provision of free and compulsory education for children between 6 and 14 in india under article 21a of the indian constitution india became one of the 135 countries to make education a fundamental right of every children when the act came into force on 1st april 2010 now the right of children to free and compulsory education the right of the children is given here in this when it was passed yeah, and uh, how it was passed and what it says is given in the first passage now then the next passage 
the bill was approved by the cabinet on 2nd july 2009 rajya sabha passed the bill on 20 july 2009 and lok sabha on 4th august 2009 it received presidential assent and was notified notified as a law on 3rd september 2009 as the children's right to free and compulsory education act the law came into effect in the whole of india except the state of jammu and kashmir from 1 1st april 2010 the first time in the history of india a law was brought into force by a speech by the prime minister in his speech manmohan singh prime minister of india stated we are committed to ensuring that all children irrespective of gender and social category have access to education and education that enables them to acquire the skills knowledge values and attitudes necessary to become responsible and active citizens of india and in this passage the bill was approved the date of the bill approved is given and rajya sabha and there are two two assemblies are there rajya sabha and lok sabha and in both the sessions the they passed the bill and after that they sent it to the president for his assent and it came to a law the next item is uncommon plural forms uncommon plural forms some uncommon words are given here and they have how they are the plurals are formed for these words let us see singular and plural and access and it becomes access singular form is access and the plural form is access crisis and it becomes a crisis focus becomes a foki the pronunciation of this word is foki termini terminus becomes a termini and terminuses terminuses and jeni is jeni it takes two i at the end and also jenis memorandum becomes a memoranda stratum becomes a strata aquarium becomes a aquaria and alumna it is the feminine gender it is feminine and it becomes alumni alumnus it is a masculine gender and it becomes alumni alumna alumnus and alumni and some nouns see sheep and in for singular and plural the word is 
sheep sheep is used for singular as well as for plural and deer is also used for singular and plural for both species aircraft crops swine and all these words are used for for singular and for plural both and we have some more words it is dining room and it takes yes with that if you want to make it plural we have to add yes with that and that to dining rooms and it is this type of word is also called the compound nouns compound nouns dining room and it takes yes at the end grown ups grown up becomes grown ups spoonful spoon full becomes spoon fulls they take the all these words take yes at the end and there are some more words that data in law it is also a compound word data in law and it becomes data daughters in law see the difference between these two and here i s yes is added at the end here the s yes is added with this with the the first word daughters in law it becomes daughters in law and run up becomes a runners up it becomes runners up governor general it becomes a governors general and likewise father in law becomes a father fathers in law commander in chief becomes commanders in chief see the difference between these two and it takes yes at the end and this one takes yes uh, in the very beginning of the word itself dining room becomes dining rooms grown up becomes grown up grown ups spoonful becomes spoonfuls daughter in law daughters in law runner up runners up governor general governors general father in law fathers in law commander in chief commanders in chief and we have some more compound nouns man servant man servant it is it becomes men servant because the plural of man is men so it takes a men servant like that woman student becomes a women student women student women student and some more nouns we have and and they are used for they are used as a, only plurals premises scissors trousers and they are used to 
as only the plurals they don't take singular forms see for example spectacles spectacles means we have two different kinds of things so they are used as plurals only like that the scissors it has got both both sides and trousers has got two uh, legs so they are used only as plurals they don't take singulars man servant becomes men servant woman student women student spectacles means premises scissors and the trousers we have one exercise here fill in the blanks in the columns given below singular and plural we have to fill up fill up analysis analysis dash and dash criteria series dash erratum dash cup full dash innings curricula medium dash we have to fill in the blanks analysis analysis becomes analysis here you have to note that if there is is at the end it becomes es and criteria is the plural form we have to find out the singular form for that it is criterion criterion becomes criteria series and for both it is series only eratum becomes erata erata cup full becomes cup fulls innings and for both in the singular and plural both are the same and curriculum becomes curricula curriculum becomes curricula medium becomes media media again analysis anal analysis criterion criteria series series eratum erata cup full cup fulls innings innings curriculum curricula medium media and let us see how the questions are asked from this topic in april 2012 in the first paper in part 1 sorry part in part 2 it comes question number 7 what is the plural form of the word focus what is the plural form of the word focus and options are given there focuses Foki, Foki. What is the plural form of the word focus? Focuses, Foki, Foki. It is. So the answer is Foki. Yes. Answer is Foki. And when you write the answer, write the question number and the option 
for answer option and write this. This is how you have to write the answer. And in April, in October 2012, again, what is the plural form of of the word fungus fungus what is the plural form of the word fungus so options are given there fungi fungi fungus What is the plural form of the word fungus? Fungi and fungi, fungus. And the answer is fungi. Answer is fungi. The plural form of fungus is fungi. Now, in April 2013, what is the plural form of the word criterion what is the plural form of the word criterion and the options are given criterions criteria Criteria, it is C is criteria. What is the plural form of the word criterion? Criterions, criteria, and criteria. The correct answer is C, criteria. C for focus, the plural form is foci, and for fungus, fungi and criterion criteria and it is and it is made very simple for you people to select because the options are given so by seeing the options you will be able to find out the answer easily in june 2013 june 2013 that means instant examination what is the plural form of the word crisis what is the plural form of the word crisis and the options are crisis crisis Crisis. What is the plural form of the word crisis? Crisis, crisis, crisis. The answer, correct answer is B. Crisis. Crisis becomes crisis. And in September 2013, what is the plural form? of the word crisis the second time it is asked in the next examination also the same word is asked and the options were crisis 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 criteria what is the plural form of the word crisis 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 and criteria and the answer is b crisis see the, again the second time also the same is asked our next item is developing headlines
developing headlines and before we go into this topic let us see what the headline is what what is called headlines see where do we see the headlines we see the headlines in the newspaper and we see the headlines in our notice boards notice boards and the newspapers we see the headlines and, uh, and the headlines should be very impressive so that the reader will be will be attract attract will be attracted and they will just go through the report after that report after that so the headlines should be very catchy so writing great headlines is a critical and creative art and writing the headlines is a is an art it is it is a creative art uh, on an average 8 out of 10 people read only the headline copy only out of 10 8 people read the headlines uh, out of that only 2 people go through the report the better the headlines the better the chances of getting the report read by a greater percentage of people the following points are what you need to know in order to identify the headlines are differentiated from the complete statement and uh, how we are going to develop the headlines now we have some tips here headlines often contain a noun phrase see for example unexpected visit of minister to schools it is a it is a kind of a headline and here there is no verb form in this in the in this line there is no verb and only noun phrase it is it contains only noun phrase using the noun phrase it is the the headlines is made unexpected visit of minister to schools and we have one more example Tamil Nadu State Board examinations results declared declared and uh, several nouns are put together Tamil Nadu State Board examination results uh, uh, only the string of uh, nouns are there with the using the nouns they have formed the, the sentence headlines here and we have one more Chennai celebrates Madras week Chennai celebrates Madras week only here only the sim simple form that means a simple present tense is used here for, to form the headlines Chennai celebrates Madras week celebrates that means it is going to celebrate the week that is given in the present form but the thing is it is it is a confirmed news that is why they are coming to this form this type of tense and we have one more example prime minister to inaugurate to inaugurate national games prime minister to inaugurate national games here to inaugurate though it is a confirmed news it is given with indefinite form and this is how the headlines are formed you know the, they will, the articles will be omitted and the verb forms will be omitted and so 
so this is how we form the headlines we have one more example passengers injured in accident passengers injured in accident here the auxiliary verb was dropped and the articles are also omitted this is how the headlines are formed and one more example man snatches woman's chain here also articles dropped are no articles given and here it can be written like this a man snatched a woman's chain it is a expansion it is a expansion of this headline here article is omitted and the tense is also omitted it is a headline so it is given like this but the actually the what happened is a man snatched a woman's chain and here we have one more example for this india to host sak meet in up and in this headlines no initials are given and no no only the abbreviations are given sak and up only the abbreviations are given for making headlines and let us go to the exercise now we have one exercise here expand the following headlines into complete sentences sentences the first one is mobile phones banned in schools we have to expand this expand this headline mobile phones banned in schools mobile phones banned in schools we have to expand this how we are going to expand this see who banned the mobile mobile phones that is what we have to think first who banned that it is the department of education the department of education and the orders were given by the department of education so we are starting the sentence with that the department of education has banned why we are using this uh, uh, tense because uh, it is alive the the act the rule is alive that is why we are using it has banned mobile phones in schools see we we have already used this banned word here so mobile out of mobile phones i am just removing it the department of education has banned mobile phones in schools mobile phones banned in schools and by someone that is the department so i am using the department in the very beginning of the sentence so the department has banned mobile phones in schools and the second one is scientist discovers new planet Sci scientist discovers new planet since it is headlines the 
simple present is used here simple present is used so article is, is also omitted we have to give them so and the scientist who the scientist is let us talk about our own scientists so an indian scientist an indian scientist has discovered has discovered whenever we use has the the verb should be in the third part that means the past participle we have to use has discovered why we are going to this tenses the news is present only just now that means in a few days back or the last week or the last month he has discovered the news is alive now that is why we are using this kind of uh, uh, tense has discovered a new planet scientist discovers new planet an indian scientist has discovered a new planet and this this is converted into the headlines omitting articles and the tense the next one is foreign secretary meets cm to discuss we have foreign secretary meets cm to discuss rehab since it is headlines the secretary is is contracted that means made small and cm abbreviation is given so we have to expand them when we write the expansion now foreign secretary met the chief minister to discuss rehabilitation process foreign secretary met the chief minister to discuss rehabilitation process foreign secretary meets cm to discuss rehab that means uh, the headlines in the headlines they it is a confirmed news or the news already the the meeting was already held so that is why they are using the simple present and uh, we have when we uh, when we expand it uh, we have to go for the past tense because it is an ordinary sentence so we have to go for the correct tense foreign secretary met the chief minister the should be added before cm to discuss rehabilitation process jewels stolen from your house in mailapur the headline is jewels stolen from a house in mailapur now jewels were stolen from a house in mailapur jewels were the auxiliary verb is dropped here in the headlines so we are we are just making it next one is dutch teens arrive for reunion with family 
Dutch teens arrive for reunion with the family. That means the Dutch teens, after some time, they meet their family. They just reunite with their family. So it is given like this, Dutch teens arrive for reunion with family. That means after a long time, they are meeting their parents. So when we expand, after a separation for many years, if we write only many years, it will not be attractive. That is why the separation word should be added with that. After a separation for many years, the Dutch teens arrive for reunion with the family. Article should be given before the family. Dutch teens arrive for reunion with the family. After a separation for many years, the Dutch teens, that means teenage girls, they, they come with the reunion. So, the Dutch teens arrive for reunion with the family. Next one is business campaign launched in China in China business business campaign launched in China so yeah business campaign has been launched in China. Here just we are going for the tense has been launched. Launched becomes has been launched. A business campaign and who is launching the campaign we do not know. That is why I am not, I, I have not given this. The next one is 30 child laborers rescued in Agra. 30 child laborers rescued in Agra. So who rescued? Maybe the government. So the government, the government has rescued, has rescued 30 child laborers in Agra. 30 child laborers rescued in Agra. And the government has rescued 30 child laborers in Agra. And I have already used this rescued with the government and they, they have been rescued from Agra. So, the laborers in Agra. The government has rescued 30 child laborers in Agra. Next one is parents arrested for child abuse. Actually, this is not, not used, this kind of law is not used in our country and in foreign countries, it is strictly adopted. Parents arrested for child abuse. If at all a parent abuses or scolds their child, the, the parents will be penalized. Parents arrested for 
child abuse so who arrested the 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 parents it may be the police so the police arrested the parents parents for abusing why they are as arrested for abusing their child so the police arrested the parents for abusing their child the next one is indian award nobel prize for physics indian awarded nobel prize for physics and uh, it since it is science it may be a scientist so let me start uh, the sentence with uh, scientist and indian the article should be given here an indian scientist has been awarded why i am using this it is it becomes the passive indian awarded it, already it is the sentence is in passive that is why i am using has been has been awarded nobel prize for physics an indian scientist and here i am introducing this an indian scientist has been awarded nobel prize for physics the next word is andhra level beach we walk to enter football cup semi finals andhra 11 beats viva to enter football cup semi finals and here andhra 11 beats beat it is beat because the past form for beat is also beat so but we pronounce it bet bet but the spelling is the same so andhra 11 beat viva yesterday it is a news so the past event is given here yesterday and entered football cup semi finals andhra 11 b bet viva yesterday and entered football cup semi finals this is how we expand it now the next item is farm farming a headline farming a headline is the next one so far we have we have been we have seen how to expand the headlines now how to form the headline let us see and uh, an example is given in your textbook indian labor investigators how the skew 30 child workers 
in a down raid on four toy factories in New Delhi. Indian labor investigators have rescued 30 child workers in a dawn raid on four toy factories in New Delhi. And uh, what is it about? It is about uh, 30 child workers. It is about 30 child workers. So, the headline, we have to start the headlines with 30 child workers. And where, where they are rescued? Rescue from toy factories. That as we have already seen, who rescued is, is should not be given in the headlines because if you if you give the reader will not be uh, attracted to go through the news that is why it it, it, it has been dropped so 30 child workers rescued from a toy factory toy from toy factories now in page number 109 in your textbook some activities are given. That means uh, a situation is given here. We have to form the headlines out of that. And let us see the first one. Two families residing in the posh exile apartments in Bombay. It should be Mumbai, but it is given as Bombay, who had employed four children as domestic help have been fined rupees rupees 61,000 in all by the state labor departments Child Welfare Committee. Child Welfare Committee. Two families residing in the posh Excel apartments in Bombay who had employed four children as domestic help have been fined rupees 61,000 in all by the State Labor Department's Child Welfare Committee. The we have to write the headlines for this and uh, who were fined for this, who were fined. So two families, two families fined for child labor because they used two children as their domestic help. So, the department has fined them for using the children as their domestic help. So, the headline will be two families fined for child labor. This is how we form the headlines. The next one is activists in Jagata. 
आर कॉलिंग ऑन ऑल हाउस होल्ड वर्कर्स to stop working and march in the streets during the national wide strike called for from may 1 to 3 to push for the formulation and passage of the domestic workers law activists in jakarta are calling on all household workers to stop working and march in the streets during the national wide strike called for from may One to the three to push for the formulation and passage of the domestic workers law, and they called on for the strike. And how we are going to form the headlines? Let us see. And here the main theme of this is about the activists. Activists at that too they are from Jakarta. So Jakarta. Jakarta activists activists and they call strikers that means on those who are doing strikes strikers to march in the streets so they call all the activists to come to the come to the street to march asking the government to implement the domestic workers law so the headline is jakarta activists call strikers to march in the streets the next one is children of yeah private school in chennai city have taken pledge to ease the workload of they are domestic workers at home by sharing they are work and teaching them in time thus saved children of a private school in chennai city have taken pledge to ease the workload of their domestic workers at home by sharing their work and teaching them in time thus saved see the who has uh, done this that means the children of a private school so 
they are children of a private school so let us take children and school so school children school children in headlines we don't write the uh, in which school or which place we don't write so school children pledge what they do is pledge and why to ease domestic workers workload workload and what they are doing is they have taken pledge to ease the domestic workers workload so the headline will be like this school children pledge to ease domestic workers workload next one is ki banumati of yes s school one the first prize in the inter school debate on the topic r domestic helps necessary conducted by lions club south chennai K Banumadi of SS School won the first prize in the inter school debate on the topic are domestic helps necessary conducted by Lions Club South Chennai and uh, here the topic the, say, the main theme is it is the Banumadi it is the name of the child Banumadi so usually we drop the initials so without initial banumati what she has done she has won the prize that means we don't write the past tense in the headlines only we we go for the simple present so banumati wins what 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 does he win inter school debate she participated in the inter school debate she wins so on on domestic since it is headlines we drop all the other things and uh, the conductor of the uh, comp debate is not given here should not be given here so banumati wins inter school debate on domestic next one is the government has declared a two day holiday for schools and colleges due to heavy rains lashing the city resulting in flooding of streets and residential 
areas in the city. The content is the government has declared a two day holiday for schools and colleges due to heavy rains lashing the city resulting in flooding of streets and residential areas in the city. The main theme is holidays are declared and who has declared the holidays we do not give. So, the holiday holidays for for schools and colleges due to due to rain holidays for schools schools and colleges due to rain and it, you, you may we may write heavy rain also you can also include heavy holidays for schools and colleges due to rain let us see how the questions are asked from the expanding the headlines in your public examinations in your government examinations and it is asked in the second paper english second paper it is an english second paper in that section 4 section 4 let us see in april 2012 and in question number 13 expand the following headlines expand the following headlines and for here you have five questions five into one five marks five questions are asked in that a schools closed due to heavy rains this we have already seen in our textbook schools closed due to heavy rains and uh, let us expand this all the schools the schools is expanded into all the schools where in the district and why i am adding this in the district because the collector has to announce that collector has to announce the declare the holiday for this for the natural calamities so in the, the in the district the collector will announce that so that is why i am adding in the district have been closed today closed today due to heavy rains all the schools in the district have been closed today due to heavy rains schools closed due to heavy rains and today let us see the next question storage reduced at reservoir for repair storage reduced at reservoir for repair reservoir means it we can take it otherwise as a dam and the well known dam is why why head dam or matur dam you know the so the the storage at matur reservoir is reduced storage means water 
द वाटर रिजर्व्ड इन द रिजर्वायर रिड्यूस्ड फॉर कैरिंग आउट रिपेयर वर्क्स स्टोरेज रिड्यूस्ड एट ए रिजर्वायर फॉर रिपेयर द स्टोरेज एट मेटो रिजर्वायर इज रिड्यूस्ड फॉर कैरिंग आउट रिपेयर वर्क्स द क्वेश्चन नंबर सी स्टूडेंट्स कलेक्ट फंड्स फॉर फ्लड रिलीफ students collect funds for flood relief and the students where it is and so we have to expand this so the students of the city instead of city you can write any place any name of the place city college collected funds for flood relief the students of the city college collected funds for flood relief and after uh, they 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 have collected after they have started their work the news will be given and the news will be taken by the reporters that is why i am using the past tense for this next question is 2 indian swimmers win gold and olympics two indian swimmers win gold in olympics when win gold in olympics that means they have already won the gold medal that so two indian swimmers won the gold medal and if you write only the gold you need not add article before that i am writing medal that is why i am adding the in the olympics article should be added before olympics the olympics two indian swimmers won the gold medal in the olympics now next question is pm to attend uno meet the prime minister the prime minister will attend the united nations organization organizations meet next week to attend to attend that means he is going to attend the meeting so i am giving it in a future tense next week the prime minister will attend will attend the united nations organization meet next week so i am giving it in the future tense in october 2012 october 2012 the question number 13 expand the following questions 
here also you have 5 questions and you have 5 marks each one carries 1 mark for that and uh, the first one is unexpected visit of minister to schools unexpected visit of minister to schools and we have to expand that and who will who will visit the schools the minister for the educational department so the educational educational and minister visited because the, the, his visit was already held that is why it is it has come on the news visited some schools since it is given plural i am giving some schools and where in the city city that too he visited unexpectedly so that we have to give that also unexpectedly yesterday see how we expanded this the educational minister visited some schools in the city unexpectedly yesterday unexpected visit of minister to schools because that was already finished so it has come on the headlines so we have to go for the past tense so i have given visited okay let us see the next one chennai celebrates Madras week Chennai celebrates Madras week and this also they have started the work earlier that but instead of going to the past tense I am going to the continuous because it is a week so it will be continued so I am going for the present continuous the city of Chennai is celebrating celebrating Madras week from today. The city of Chennai is celebrating Madras week from today. He is celebrating present continuous tense I have given. So that is why I am using this also today from today the city of Chennai is celebrating Madras week from today the next to next question is Tamil Nadu state board examination results declared Tamil Nadu state board examination results declared Tamil Nadu they have given who has announced so that is why I am rewriting it board examination results where declared that is why I am using where where declared yesterday at 10 a.m. usually they announce they declare the results 
by 8 o'clock but by 10 o'clock in the morning that is why I have given and uh, it is in the in the passive voice declared it is in the passive voice so I am I have to give where before the verb.